over here installing the toilet. I'm gonna go over all the basics with you and try to go as quick as I can so I don't take up as much time as needed. People got 20, 30 minute videos, which is ridiculous to put in the toilet. It's not that serious. Okay, first things you need to know, there's these two screws that hold the toilet in. I've removed the old ones and the new toilet came with these. I don't need to use the new ones because the old ones are just fine. Okay, you got your water shut off here. You can turn that off. Sometimes they tend to still leak, so mine is still leaking. These do have different fittings. This goes under the toilet, and they do make some that are longer and shorter. Make sure if you're putting these in that you use thread tape, wrap it around around six times, and then crank this on. Don't just crank it, because this can snap. Some of them are plastic. So what you want to do is have one vice grips or pliers held here, or hold your hand there, and then crank this. You don't have to do it super tight. If you overdo it, you will damage it and it will leak. Always checks for leaks after you have installed everything because if you still have a leak, you can't just walk away. You'll have water dripping and going into your home and destroying your home. Also, what I was getting to about that, some fancy toilets have different connection sizes over here. I believe they do make adapters so you can convert it so you don't have to change the whole hose. But those are sold at your hardware store and you need to find out what size you have. I have a real fancy toilet in my uh, master bath and it took uh, either bigger or smaller size. It wasn't American, it was like Italian or something. All right, you got your waxing right here. I don't wanna to touch anything down there because it's gross, but this is brand new. Okay, so this is your wax ring. I've put it in place. Some people like to press this under the toilet before you put it on. So you put your toilet upside down and do that, or you can just put it in. I'll be able to hover it and slide these into the two holes. And that's about it. Do not install one of these without a wax ring. They make different um, things that are not wax rings. They're like foam rings and stuff like that. I'm used to this. This has been around forever. I'm gonna stick with that and it came with it. Next up is your plastic ring right here. Make sure it doesn't have any damage or anything like that because if there's a crack in here or something, this needs to be replaced. I had a friend with a crack here and he had sewage going all up in his house for God knows how many years. It was disgusting. Anyways. So now that I've got this placed here, what I'm gonna do is take the new toilet, hover it over and just place it on. Once I've placed it on, I'm gonna screw on the little flywheels or screws that it comes with, and next I'm gonna cap these. This is what it came with right here. If you don't install these correctly, then you won't be able to make this stay on. Some people don't know there's an order to these, so that's why I'm going over this and I'll try to explain it real quick for you guys. This one right here, as you can see, it has like a groove in it. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is, Put this, it's gonna go that way, and then this mounting piece right here, I think it's too bright, will snap in. Once the fly, the screw is on this, I'll be able to snap this on and it will lock in place. Into here, there's a little groove where the lip is, where this will stay on, and if you're cleaning, it's not gonna knock it off. All right, next we're gonna put in our toilet. I'll go over here to where the toilet's at. <sighs> so this is the new toilet. I got a little boy, and you might wanna consider this, He's five years old and he can't aim correctly, so pee's going all over the place. But with this type of toilet, he can pee here and it'll drip down here. Not that I'm not gonna clean it, but it makes it a lot easier for cleaning. It's not a two piece, this is one continuous piece. Also, before you buy a toilet, look on the side of your toilet and take measurements. Most standard toilets are 12 inches from the center hole right there, and this, the hole right there is your circle drain flange. So measure 12 inches from here to your wall and it should be a standard toilet. They also have all your measurements. So before you just assume you're gonna go buy a toilet, it might not be the right distance and then you'll buy it and have to return it. What a headache that will be. Okay, so we're gonna go and put this thing in and it's all fancy. If you guys wanna look for a toilet like this where the button is on top, you don't have to hit the valve anymore. Not that that matters or anything, but that's just the way they're making them. I don't know if it's better or worse. So. We're gonna go and put this in and then I'll show you guys how it looks. I wanna add this in there because people are gonna ask how much did I pay for this style toilet. It was only $169 at Home Depot. And also I went on eBay and I bought a coupon. I think it was $2 for a 15% off coupon. So I paid two bucks for that and I saved, I think it was like $18 or something like that. So I ended up saving another $16. If you guys wanna go on, a lot of people don't know that you can just go to um, eBay and buy coupons and they instantly send them right to your email and then you could scan it when you get to the register. So that's free money. It's not much, but it's a little bit. So and then ready to put in this little mechanism here and you could see how this unscrews this little ring. 
So what I'm going to have to do is unscrew that. I got one hand, so I, I don't think I could do it with one hand. But what these two things do right here, they push down. And what they're pushing down is this right here. This one's actually color coordinated. Look at that. So you got the one. What this means is a single drop and two drops. That means it'll flush with a lot more fluid on this one and a lot less fluid on this one. So maybe if like somebody just pees, you want to use this one to save water. Use that one. It'll probably give you two gallons, double the amount. So make sure when you pick this up, it's centered. The other toilet I bought that was in my bathroom, it wasn't as accurate as it should be. And this was like rubbing on the side. So when I push it, this would stay down because this was getting caught right here on the sidewall. So when it was getting caught, I was like, what's wrong with this freaking toilet? It keeps jamming. So then when I lifted the hood up, I realized that it was bad engineering and I was able to center this and it was just fine. I can go over there and show you guys that toilet just so you can get what I was talking about. And I've got this one put in. I think I paid $550 for this one. It's a lot fancier. But this is the device that was getting caught up. Let me open this for you guys so you guys can see what's going on. Maybe yours is going to be like this and you'd want to know what it's like. You see that? How it's got the tread on there. They were catching on the sidewall. Well, the, the one I bought, this was from like Italy or something. God, I can't remember what it was called. But I've got it off eBay. I just cannot think of the name. But anyway, so it's a modern toilet. If you look that up, you might find it still. It was... One company selling it out of Texas. Put this thing on here on the uh, bracket, and I'm just going to hand tighten it. You probably don't have to go all crazy tightening it to an extreme. I made sure that the blue side is on this way and the other one's that way. So then when I put this on, I know it'll be accurate. You can hand tighten these. You do not need tread tape with these. Unless it's leaking, then you could probably use tread tape, but you shouldn't have to because what there is is a rubber, rubber um, gasket right here. And what that does is this presses up against here. That one's actually got a rubber gasket on there, so watch for that. That one had a rubber gasket on the darn thing. That would have messed up as it was new, and the rubber gasket was stuck up under here. But had I screwed this on, and it would have had two gaskets going at it, it would have caused a problem, and I would have had a leak and would have been stuck. So you guys need to look for that. All you should have is a plastic, if you guys could see that, just a piece of plastic that this is going to tread onto and go into so you could hand tighten this and it'll be just fine if I can get under there it's hard to record this with one hand so please don't complain about the shaky video I'm just making this video to help you guys because a lot of people don't might not know the basics I'm gonna put one hand on this and one hand to screw this on I can't do it while I'm um, videotaping because this will twist like an S and I don't want it to twist so one hand held here hand tighten it not super super tight but tight enough where you think I just you want it. to show you guys, when you guys get done with this, you need to make sure that it's not leaking over here and it's not leaking under here. So those are two spots. Put a, put a piece of uh, napkin around here and come back in about a couple hours, even a, a day or two, just watch it. If that napkin is um, capturing water, then either this needs to be tightened or that orange, this, this white ring needs to be tightened. Something is going on where you got leakage and you need to locate that problem. You cannot have water dripping in your home. So right now I got it hand tightened, not super, super tight, but just enough where I feel safe that those rubber gaskets are um, tied up. And you can see the thread tape on here that I used. So you wrap it around maybe five or four or five, six times around there. And then you crank this on. Make sure you hold your hand on this when you do it and, a, and a pliers on this little nut and turn it clockwise so I got this on I feel safe about it but I am gonna keep an eye on it and take a look at it. anytime you're dealing with plumbing or water you need to make sure that it's done correctly so even though I know what I'm doing I'm always gonna just watch it and make sure everything's done right next I'm gonna go ahead and um, put my rings on to hold the toilet I'm videotaping this so you guys know which way to put it because it really doesn't really explain to you guys okay so you see that little lip right there that's the piece you want to be higher or else these caps won't clip on. So I'm gonna put this on there. Mine did not come with any washers, but I'm gonna put a washer on there. Don't over tighten this. You could damage your uh, drain flange down there. So make sure so you got a good distance here. You might have like a quarter inch or something to tweak it just in case your cap doesn't want to fit on correctly. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there just to make sure that it's on there just right. And if I wanna back it up in here, I can. Maybe, but I think I'm just going to leave mine be. I'll probably fix up that little scratch on the wall. 
but I don't really want to push it too far back because that's got to be centered by the drain. Sometimes you can have, you can tweak it just a bit, but this fits pretty good. I'm happy with that. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and tighten this. I'll go ahead and put this on. I'm just showing you guys. And I got a pliers or vice grips, whatever you want to call it. Don't over tighten it. And when we're done with this, you're going to put a bead of um, silicone around this, 100% silicone. If you use Alex or something like that, if somebody pees down here, it's going to turn yellow. So make sure that you buy 100% silicone. If you buy white, it'll have a slight shine to it, but at least you'll know that it's not going to um, absorb any pee and stuff. I'll show you guys what Alex is right here on the side of the shower. I got some Alex that I used and you could paint that, it's paintable. The stuff I'm telling you to use, because you guys might not know, it's 100% uh, silicone and it's not paintable. So that's what you're looking for. So you can put that bead around here. And also if somebody sits on your toilet, it's not gonna shift the thing or anything like that. Because you can't just depend on these two screws to hold your toilet. If somebody, um, about 150 pounds, any adult, goes and jumps on this or hits it the wrong way, it'll start to shift and move around. And that's one thing you don't want. So make sure that you do silicone and don't walk away without doing that. It's three or four dollars a tube. A cock gun will cost you about seven or eight. And all you have to do is bead around it. There's videos on YouTube. I even made like three of them. How to silicone, how to caulk, baseboard, stuff like that. Look for that. And all you have to do is put a seam all the way around it. And then you take your finger and you spread it. Dip your hand in soap and water to spread it. It'll go on real smooth. And don't walk away until you think it looks great. One more time, I hate to say this again, do not over tighten it with the tool. Just do it slightly. I gave it a little bit of pressure and you can feel it getting tight. Make sure that you jump on this and sit on it to push that wax ring to have it down before you start tightening that. And now you can see how the cap's got the grooves on it and it's gonna snap right on. Let me see, I gotta put some pressure on it. There it goes, nope. Give it a little bit of a twist. Oh, I think I need to put the camera down. To take some on. pressure, I had to put my body weight down on it, but that cap's on there correctly and won't be moving when somebody's cleaning it. Toilet all in place and we're gonna run a test real quick and we're gonna turn the water back on. And the toilet should start to fill up. Like I said, if you wanna put tissue down here and see if it catches water, tissue over here, up at, on the top, if it catches water, the one thing you do not want is water dripping. Water should go where it's meant to go and that's into the unit and then flush the toilet. <sighs> so, got that all done. It did come with a toilet seat, which is nice. Read the box that you're gonna buy. Make sure it comes with your wax ring. Make sure it comes with a toilet seat. If it doesn't, then you need to purchase those things or you'll be making another trip to the hardware store. Two of these right here. And you can see I put the washer on this side. I got a flathead screwdriver ready to screw this together. And I'm probably gonna have to use my hand to hold the underside. Make sure before you go and tighten this all the way that the toilet seat is sitting where you want it. So I'm gonna put both of these in, and then when it's sitting where I want, then I'm gonna tighten it. Like I said, you might have to put your hand over here and hold it, or I might have to use the pliers. This is plastic, so do not squeeze too hard. Those screwed on, I got the toilet seat centered where I want it. What I did is I stood here and I put my hands right here and I felt the lippage and I made sure it was even. Next, you're gonna snap these together, where they're supposed to snap, but I'll probably, oh, there it goes. Okay, so there's the toilet. I'm gonna go ahead and press the blue one for you guys so we can see how much water it uses. It's supposed to not use, use as much water. And then when it fills up, I'll flush the gray one to see how much it uses there. I think it only used about half right there. Flush this one, it should use the whole thing. I don't know how many gallons it is, but, oh, it didn't even use the whole thing. That was weird. Anyways, supposed to use more water on that one, less on that one. So all I gotta do is silicone this, and we'll call this done. Thanks for watching, give me a thumbs up. If you guys wanna find silicone videos, how to silicone a toilet, if nothing pops up on YouTube for how to silicone the bottom of a toilet, look for how to silicone a bathtub or um, baseboards and you can copy what they're doing and get that skill on how to silicone something. Thanks for watching. Give me that thumbs up. Have a good day.